Welcome to Mishnah, study Masech Bitzah Pele Gimel Mishnah Bet. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss traps that were set from before the holiday, right? So let's say you went ahead and you set a um, a trap, of, uh, of, you know, you set a trap from before and you put a cage, you know, under your boat for to catch a blackfish. And, you know, you set it from before the holiday and you're not sure when the uh, fish entered that, uh, you know, that cage. Now you go to the cage on Yom Tov, you pull it up and you see that there's fish in there that are caught. Could you assume that they were caught from before the holiday? Right? And they were prepared from before the holiday? Or do you say that, no, maybe they were caught today on the holiday and they're considered muktzeh and are not allowed to have those fish? So that's our Mishnah. If you set these traps from before Yom Tov, right? You're not allowed to go ahead and take from these fish or birds or, or animals, that whatever you caught in these traps, you're not allowed to take from them on Yom Tov. Unless you are sure that they were caught from the day before. Right? So then you're sure that they're not upset, and you could go ahead and Right, so what do you see from here according to Tanakhama? That it's any safek, safek whether it's prepared or not. You say no, it's not allowed. Right? It's mahmir, it's safek, muhan um, is asur. It's, I'm sorry, it's safek, muhan is asur, right? Safek whether or not it's prepared before, it's going to be asur. There was a case with one goy. He came, he brought fish to the bangam liel. The amar, what did the bangam liel say? Mutarinen. They're allowed to be in. But I want to be mahmir on myself, and I don't want to accept it from you. So what's Rabban Gamliel saying? This is a case where Rabban Gamliel was not sure whether when these fish were caught. They could have been caught, you know, today on Yom Tov or yesterday, before Yom Tov. And Rabban Gamliel still said that they're mutar, right? So it seems to be arguing on um, Tanakama. And that's how Rabban explains this Mishnah, that... Uh, according to the Bangam Liel, if it's Safik, whether or not it was prepared, Safik Muhan is Mutar, right? And similarly, um, he holds that if a goy brought, um, you know, fish or fruits on Yom Tov, right? Even if they were picked on Yom Tov or, or, or caught on Yom Tov, they are Mutar, according to the Bangam Liel. Right? Halakha is not like the Bangam Liel, but that's what he says. And when this goy went ahead and brought these fruits, right? Um, if we know for a fact that they weren't picked today, right? You could tell from the, you know, from the look of the fruit that they're not, uh, they weren't picked today from the, from the tree, or you could tell from the fish itself. I don't know. You look at the gills and you could see that they're not, uh, you know, fresh fish that were, uh, you know, fished out today from the ocean. Then they're allowed to be eaten, um, any day, right? That's not the hot, right? Because you know, for a fact that they weren't, they weren't, uh, you know, picked or fished out today, but, um, if they came from outside the tomb, which is another issue, right? Then, um, in that case, or, or even if it's a safik, right? Then they would be allowed for, to be eaten by a different Israel, right? Not for that person who was brought for, but for a different Jew that would be allowed to, to be eaten. Um, and similarly, another one of the law that Bob brings down is that let's say you have two day two day holiday. Right, Yom Tov Rishon and Yom Tov Sheni in Chutz Laaretz, and someone brought you um, fish on Yom Tov Rishon, so you could have or fruits on Yom Tov Rishon. You can have that on Yom Tov Sheni, right? And for the same reason we mentioned earlier, unless it's the uh, like unless it's two days of Rosh Hashanah, which is one kedusha.